with the very famous Instagram clout. One of the best pad guys out there when, when they talk about, you know, the pad men in boxing. And one of the guys who kind of adopted the Mayweather style pads and did it to like that next level now. Works with Tevin Farmer. Coach Anthony, what's up? What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Talk to me. Keith Thurman. Hasn't happened yet, but, you know, assumingly so that he gets this uh, nice, sweet victory. Where does he stand in the welterweight division to you? Oh, man, he stands right there with everybody else. I mean, you know, I mean, if you think about it, before he got injured, he was the top guy in the division. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was hurting guys. He had good power, great stamina, good footwork. Um, he just happened, has, happened to not be, you know, active as of recently due to an injury. But if he comes back tonight and he looks good, he's right back where he left off. Where was he when he was alive and well, per se? You know, after the Danny Garcia win, when he was the unified champ? Oh, he was number one. I mean, you okay. know, everybody was gunning for him. The same way he was gunning for Mayweather. When Mayweather right. was a champion, he became champion. Everybody was gunning for him. Guys like Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, and all these guys now that we're talking about were beneath him. Mm. But now those guys are catching up. So at the end of the day, we got to pay homage to him. Now, are those other guys able to beat him? We don't know. Maybe. But at the end of the day, Keith Thurman was the number one guy. He was the unified champ. And if he looks good tonight and he's all healed up, he's right back in the mix, you know? With Keith where he is now and where he was, do you think he's kind of taking, like, the Mayweather road a little bit? You know, like, you know, people on the Internet everywhere. He's ducking Spence. He's ducking Spence. Do you see it like that? Or I know you're in the boxing game, so you got to see it a little bit differently. I mean... You know, I think it's like this, man. When you don't have something, you're hungry and you want it. Once you obtain it, now you want to protect it for the most part. You don't want to take unnecessary risks. You don't want to get hurt and not get compensated for your, for, for your, you know, for, for putting your health and jeopardizing your life every time you step in that ring. So at the end of the day, I think from a business standpoint, when you have people around who, who truly want to guide you and help you get the most money, what you deserve, you know, that's the way you have to move. You can't move the same way you was moving when you was trying to get the belt once you get it. Now you have to be smart. You have to keep it. And that's harder than actually getting the belt a lot of the time. So I just think that he's doing what he's supposed to do. Now, I remember seeing you work the corner of Eddie Chambers against Gerald Washington right. back when he was undefeated. Right. You know, you actually told me behind the scenes a while back that, you know, Eddie could have won that fight. Absolutely. What's going on with Eddie Chambers right now? I know he worked with Tyson Fury in the past, helping him out. What's going on? What's the future of Eddie Chambers? Um, you know what, man? It's funny you asked me about Eddie because Eddie is still uh, sparring in the gym. He still looks great. Um, but, you know, boxing's one of those sports that if you don't have anything lined up, it can get a little bit demotivating to want to continue to chase it. Um, the Gerald Washington loss was definitely something that shouldn't have happened the way it did. I mean, Eddie just didn't let his hands go in that fight. And um, I'm definitely confident if he got another opportunity to fight somebody like Gerald or somebody in that class, he would definitely do a be have a better performance. So right now with Eddie, man, it's just uh, how bad does he want it? I ask him all the time, do you want to just hang it up? Do you want to retire? He says no. He still wants to box. So, you know, he hasn't, continue he hasn't completely um, came to the conclusion that he's retired. But I tell you what, he's a live dog. He's still healthy. He hasn't taken much punishment in his career. And if he really wants to fight, he definitely could. You're officially a championship-level coach. Congrats again, IBF, you know. And, uh, I mean, what's upon? I mean, there were so many roadblocks. The fight with the Asian kid, you know, the robbery. He was on PEDs or whatever. To finally get to this level, do you wake up every day and think, okay, wow, actually, I'm here. I've arrived. You know what, man? It, it, it's definitely humbling, you know what I mean? I got an opportunity to work with Tevin Farmer. They, you know, his whole team, you know, from Rasheem Jefferson, Coach Chino Rivas, um, Nick Rosario. Those guys embraced me and bought me right into their team. Um, so I've been with Tevin Farmer now since the Kenichi Ogawa fight. Mm -hmm. Kenichi Ogawa, Billy Dib, you know, tennis, uh, uh, the, the, the kid uh, from Ireland. Yeah, yeah. And bought the battle to fight in Boston. Yeah, yep. the Boston. And now, you know, obviously his last opponent. And, um, you know, it, it's just surreal, man. I remember these moments where I used to watch guys on TV. And now I'm working with some of these guys that are on TV. You know what I mean? So the Tevin Farmer thing is just a blessing. Um, he's a great kid to work with. He's highly talented, extremely motivated. And um, I can't ask, you know what I mean, to be part of a better squad. Who's the best guy you ever done pads with? Oh, that's hard, man. I mean, <laughs> who was just the natural at it when you were showing them everything? One, two, touch, shoulder, three, you know, you know like everything you were doing with it. Who, who just picked it up so quick? 
Oh, man, I mean, working with Tevin Farmer, I, I think I, I'd have to give the, the edge to him, you know what I mean? Tevin Farmer uh, picks everything up. And what's crazy about Tevin is I'll hold the mitts for him, Rasheem Jefferson will hold the mitts for him, and we hold mitts similar with the quick hands and stuff, but we have different things that we do, and he adapts to both of us. And sometimes me and Rasheem will hit mitts with each other for exercise, and we be messing up with each other, and we be looking at each other like, damn, Tevin, for him to be able to do it with a, both of us the way he does, uh, it, it's just an extreme talent. So I, you know, I have to edge it toward Tevin, but at the end of the day, Eddie Chambers and all the other pros that I've worked with, and some of my amateurs even, man, are, are extremely good on the mitts. Who will be your dream boxer? Anytime, all time, alive, dead, to work some mitts with. Ooh, <laughs> damn. Um, you know, man, you know, since we like all these speed drills and stuff like that, it, I think it'd be dope to have Sugar Ray Leonard hit mm. the mitts because Sugar Ray Leonard had the flashy combinations and the crazy hand speed, but we never seen him hit mitts with the style of mitts that you got guys like me and other coaches out here with the yeah. rapid combinations. So, you know, I think Sugar Ray Leonard would have been a lot of fun to hit whole mitts for. Who hit your mitts the hardest? I've always hear stories of... Uh, Roach telling me about how Klitschko and Tyson just like hurt his hands badly when he was holding mitts for them. Who hit your, your hands are like, who injured you while you were holding mitts? Oh, I've been injured a few times, man. You know, I, I've held mitts for a number of guys, man. It, that's a hard one, man. I, I really don't know off the top of my hand, you know. I mean, Eddie Chambers is the heaviest guy that okay. I can say I work with. So and Eddie's got underrated power, you know what I mean? He's a smaller heavyweight, so guys don't know him as a knockout guy, but... You know, at 210 pounds, man, he's punching pretty hard. Last but not least, let everyone know where they can follow you and uh, where they can catch all the spectacular mitt work, man. Oh, man, you can follow me on, at, on Instagram at Coach Anthony. And if you haven't already checked out my YouTube channel, yep. check it out, Coach Anthony Boxing. I'm doing a lot of teaching, giving out a lot of instructions. I have a website, CoachAnthonyBoxing.com. Uh, so just check me out, if man. If someone wants that power, what they do, they just hit the DM, you know? Yeah, hit me on the DM, um, you know. Go to my website, shoot me an email, whatever's more comfortable for you, man. Got it right there.